Mark Griffin, welcome back to Perusia World. How are you today? It's good to be with you, Matthew. Going very well, thank you. And that's excellent news. Uh, Mark Griffin, of course, is the operations manager for Perusia and has uh, kindly offered to uh, come on and do the rosary for me today. Uh, was it offered or was it cajoled? Uh, <laughs> the, the jury's still out on that one. <laughs> Always happy to pray a rosary, though. So, yeah, can't say no to that. <laughs> Indeed, and we will definitely get on to prayer at the moment, but I uh, wanted to talk briefly about um, a couple of your your current roles. Of course, Parisia Academy is something that you're heavily involved in. How's Parisia Academy going? Parisia Academy is going really well. Um, there's been a great uptake of, of students enrolling in the courses, and all these courses are online courses. Um, but yeah, there's been a really good uptake and I think people are really enjoying the content. Uh, so far, we've released courses over the last couple of months on apologetics. Uh, we've released a course on Christology. We've released a course on theology of the body. We've got a course on an introduction to the creed. Uh, this week, we released a course on Catholic bioethics, which is uh, very topical these days. Uh, always topical, but particularly these days. And in the weeks to come, a few weeks time, we've got a, a course that's coming out from Father Robert Spitzer from the Magis Centre uh, on faith and science. So yeah, very exciting. And there's, there's lots more to come after that as well. Yeah, that is fantastic news. And uh, as, as a uh, bit of a science nerd, I'm particularly looking forward to Father Spitzer's. Of course, um, with the workload, I probably won't get to do any Perusia Academy courses myself until the, uh, the summer holidays. So, you know, that's something for me to look forward to. Uh, Mark, another of your um, projects is, of course, Perusia On Demand. Tell us a little about that. Sure. So Perusia On Demand is the online video platform that well, we're also presenting this, this spiritual rosary pilgrimage in, but within Perusia On Demand is the Perusia Academy and a lot of other video content, uh, movies, documentaries, presentations from our live events. It's all there in Perusia On Demand. Uh, we've recently partnered with Ascension Press and we have, uh, we're building the platform of their Bible studies into Perusia On Demand as well, which is very exciting. And there's been a, um, a good interest in that as well. So that, that's now growing. And yeah, so there's, there's lots of new content going up all the time and it's keeping us busy. It is indeed. And of course, uh, Perusia On Demand is, is not an expensive platform. And uh, I just want to remind everyone listening that for just $10 a month Australian, you get access to all of that content, but you also support Perusia. So if you just uh, you know give us uh, $10 a month, we're going to give you great content. But more importantly, you kind of become part of the Perusia family because you support the work that we do. So, so please consider that. And of course, lastly... Absolutely. Uh, and there's, there's a few things... That I was just going to say, there's a few things in there that that don't fall under that $10 a month subscription that are there individually, but the large majority of the content in there does come in at that $10 a month. And like you say, it's, it's a great support for the work that we're doing and it enables us to keep getting new content up there. So, so please do, if you haven't done already, subscribe to that and, and partake of some of that fantastic content. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Uh, and of course, lastly, um, the, the other project you're involved in is, is one that we work on together, and that is Perusia World. You spend quite a bit of your time in Perusia World as well, don't I, you, Mark? I, I do, yeah. It's, that's Once again, it's a growing platform. It's, it's exciting seeing the growth across all these things that we're doing. But yeah, another growing platform that people are beginning to engage with. And it, it really is a good solution to, to mainstream social media that, that really it, it, it's depressing. Let's be honest. It, it's pretty depressing what's out there in, in the mainstream social media world. So Perusia World is an attempt to bring edifying conversation, resources and, and, and the like to, to inspire us in our faith journey. Amen. And of course, um, yesterday we released the fact that if you become a silver level ambassador, and that is if you manage to invite people into Perusia World and attain silver level, we're going to give you three months access to Perusia On Demand for free. And if you manage to get to the uh, 25 people um, brought in on your recommendation, we're going to give you six months uh, free access to Perusia On Demand. So uh, get inviting. There are some instructional videos in Perusia World that you can use to figure out how to do that. So, well, Mark, today we're going to talk about prayer. 
And we've talked about prayer with a few people, but uh, I really wanted to talk to you about uh, prayer and children, because uh, as I was telling the live participants beforehand, I've managed to get a child expert to talk to us about prayer, not because he's a child psychologist or anything, uh, but because he's father of eight, which I think gives you um, eminent qualifications. So tell us about your, your, your family, please. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, as you say, we, we, we've got, well, we've had eight children. We still have seven with us. There's, there's one in heaven praying for us from up there, which we're very grateful for, but yeah. So, so with the, uh, with the family that we've got, the oldest is 10 years old, nearly 11 and the youngest is one. So yeah, there's uh, quite a lot in a very short space of time there, but it's, it's fantastic. I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm one of eight myself and my wife is, is one of nine. So so we've kind of both grown grown up in that in that environment where there's chaos, but also a lot of joy. So yeah, we we're, we're very blessed. We would, wouldn't have it any other way. Now, a uh, a criticism of uh, big families that I often hear is that um, that it, uh, big families don't allow children to be children because the older children have to start helping out pretty early on, and that's unfair. What would you say in response to that? Well, I would ask you to define what it means to be a child, first of all, and, and even further than that, what it means to be a human being. A child has an innocence which needs to be fostered. A child has a, a, a unique joy in them and, and sense of wonder and awe and, and adventure. But at the same time, a, a child needs to be taught from the age of a child a sense of responsibility, a sense of belonging as part of their family community and a sense of contributing to that family community, not at the expense of their fun and excitement and wonder and awe, but because we are basically trying to, to encourage that child to live their life in accordance to God's will and to live their life with a vision of making it to eternal happiness in the next life. Now, we're not put on this world to put our feet up and, and sit down and play computer games and and, and ignore work, we're, we're put on this world to work. This, this, this earth is an effort. Now, different ages that, that looks very different, but there's no, there's no harm in fostering a sense of, of a work ethic in children from a very young age. My one-year-old gets there with the broom and she just waves it back and forth across the floor. Now she's not contributing to the cleaning effort, but she is learning that this is what we do as a family. We, we work together, we live together, we pray together, we, we do everything together. That's the family unit and everyone contributes to all facets of that. So as I say that the contribution at different ages, there's a, there's a different level of contribution, but yeah, I, I don't buy that argument that, that it's, it's harming children's ability to be children because I see that as of part of what being a child is, which is why I go back to, well, define what it means to be a child. And it certainly doesn't mean put your feet up and let people work around you and, and go and play your games while other people do the chores. That's, that's not what it is to be a child. And the, the, the other side of that is we have to make sure that we don't um, destroy their, their um, willingness to, to learn and their, their wonder and their awe at the world around them. We have to foster that as well. So it is a fine line, but it's mm. definitely not a, a, a let the children put their feet up while the, the grown-ups work. I, I really don't buy that because that's not serving them in the future either. That is a wonderful answer. And uh, I have two children uh, myself. My wife and I have grave reasons, unfortunately, for stopping at uh, two. And, uh, of course, we're in lockdown at the moment, so we have both children home all the time. And I'm finding that, uh, you know, quite a bit of my day is, uh, is about breaking up fights. And I suspect that because I've got this workload, Jenna's got a workload, we're renovating. We're actually, you know, unfortunately not giving our children a lot of time. And I think quite often they're fighting because they're bored. Do you get the same sort of thing in your house? Do, do your children fight a lot, Mark? Or do you think that big families actually result in less uh, conflict between siblings? I think there are seasons when it comes to, to fighting. Um, I, I definitely acknowledge that there is um, tussling and, and arguments among each of them at various stages, but they come and go. The dynamics change as one gets older and, and you know, you go from 
infant to toddler, from toddler to, to child, from child to teen, as you go through, and we're, we're not quite to the teens yet with our family, but as you go through each of these seasons, the dynamic between each of the children changes, and then the dynamic between each child and each parent changes, and there's just so many combinations of dynamic that it's inevitable that there are going to be clashes. Um, it's not necessarily a problem that there are clashes. I think the, the problem is if you're not dealing with it well and, and, and if, if the clashes, they, they sort of snowball and become worse and worse. Now, I think competition is healthy amongst children and, and, and a, a healthy rivalry, not a rivalry or I want the attention that you're getting or anything like that, not a jealousy, mm. but a competition is something that's going to serve them well in, in later years and a sense of competition and a sense of, of striving and, and, and jostling for position and all of these things will serve them if they're fostered correctly. So now the, the, the arguments and the fighting, yeah, it gets really draining and it's really hard to have to keep going back and say, I've spoken to you about this before. Why are you arguing about this again or, or what have you? But, but that's, that's the role of a parent. That, that's, if you look at it from a perspective of it's my job to foster the good things that are, leading to this dispute to, to actually encourage the, the um, I suppose the things that they're going to take away from this that they are going to apply in later years, you have to foster those good outcomes and you've got an opportunity. God's put that child there under your care and protection for you to foster that. So that's, that's a massive responsibility. So on one hand, it's, it's very draining. Uh, and especially with, as, as there are more and more, it, it's very, very draining. But on the other hand, wow, what a responsibility. And, and I think you can't, you can't forget whether it's one child or whether it's 12 children, that child is there and you are responsible for fostering the faith in that child and for bringing them up in a world that, that doesn't always um, welcome us in our faith. And, yeah. and that's a big responsibility. And, and God wouldn't send us something that we're not capable of. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I'm not very well going to sit back and say, oh, you guys sort it out amongst yourselves. I've had enough today because... I can't really shirk that responsibility as much as some days I'd love to. The days yeah. I do that are the days I'm most unhappy because I've turned my back on my vocation and, and you know, there's, there's consequences for that. So yeah, it, it is a challenge. I, I won't lie. It's definitely a challenge. So there you go. It doesn't matter how many children you have, they're going to fight and there will, there will be seasons. So you've certainly made me feel a little better about <laughs> uh, the, the state of my household at the moment. And of course, um, uh, my children have met uh, your family and the Raish family. And I think one of the things that impressed um, both of my children was the fact that there were so many playmates yes. in the one house <laughs> on one visit. And both of my children have asked to visit both of your houses again. And so that, I think that's a, a real credit to you. Yeah. And I think even now, I mean, I know parts of the world are, are escaped from lockdown for now, but, but we're right in the middle of it. And our children aren't isolated because there's nine people in the house. So, you know, I think that there is a real um, genius to, to creation and that we have each other now. We, we are a, a family unit. We can support each other. And I know that not everybody's uh, capable of, of that. And, and it, it's not to say that if you haven't got any children, or you've only got one, that you're a selfish parent, not at all, because if that's what God's blessed you with, that's what God's blessed you with. But we have been blessed with, at this stage, there, there are nine people in our house. And if we had been closed to God's will, we wouldn't have that. It's not that necessarily that, that God wouldn't have sent them because we weren't capable, it's that we would have been close to it. So to be open to life, I think it, 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 is, it, it is rewarding in and of itself because it is such a joy having such a large family. It is so chaotic at times, but it, it's such a joy. And that doesn't mean that a large family is, is the, the golden ticket out of here and, and to get through the, the tough times because, as I say, that, that sometimes God hasn't blessed people with that. And that is a real struggle. And, and I acknowledge that is a real suffering for some people who just so desperately want children. And I know of someone that, um, that knew my wife's family and, and they had, oh, I think it was possibly two children. And, and this man was, uh, he said to his children, oh, there you go, that big family with all our kids, as if to say God sent them there instead of to us. And I think that's, I, I feel your pain. I feel your pain that you, that you want more children and that you desire that. And that in and of itself is an openness to life. 
And at that point, we leave ourselves in God's hands and, and accept his will, as, as challenging as that may be. But thankfully, we've been blessed with, with children. We both grew up in that same environment. So we've, we've been blessed with that in our own marriage as well. And, and yeah, we're, we're extremely grateful. And um, we acknowledge that there are other people that, that wish they're in our position. And, and I really feel for them and, and we, we pray for them. And there are some days where I wish I was in their position, but that's, again, that's, that's the selfish aspect of, mm. oh, I just wish I had some peace and quiet, but no, that's not what God wills for me at the moment. And for, for us in our family. And, and so as, as challenging as it is, this is this is what God's will is for us, and and we have to accept it and and faithfully walk forward. And whether you have one children or a dozen, um, prayer is often one of the greatest struggles to impart to our children. Please tell us about your family's prayer life. I can do it in one word: chaotic. <laughs> it's um, it's interesting. It's. It's something that we we strive every day. Um, we'll sit down in the morning, and and I'm working from home a lot at the moment. So we'll sit down in the morning and do morning. So this is in addition to this isn't just grace around meals. In addition to that, we'll sit down and we'll do morning prayer. We'll we'll have a few prayers together in the morning. We'll stop. We've got the alarm set for the Angelus, and we'll stop and say the Angelus, whether we're in the house or out in the garden. We'll take the alarm with us, and and we stop, and we've got a little grotto in the garden. We'll do it out there, and. And then in the evening before bed, we sit down and, and we do a rosary. Sometimes we do the full five decades, other times, and at the moment we're in a season of a single decade is, is, is well and truly a strain. So, so we're there. And, and it's not about how much, uh, it's not even about how well it comes about, but it's the, how well you intended it to be, I think is that the most important part, at least for us in our season. Now, we all start and we sit or kneel down together and, you know, halfway through one decade, you've got one child sitting over there and one sitting over there so that they can't hit at each other. And you've got another one screaming over here and it, it is chaos. But at the same time, if you, you take a step back and you look at it, it's a joyful chaos because it's chaos, but look at what we're doing and look at how we're doing it. We're doing it together. We are praying. We are thankful to God. We are honoring God. We are praying together as chaotic as it is. And you've got to step back and think, how blessed are we? How hard is it for some people in other parts of the world to pray? They're persecuted just for attempting to. Now, you could say we're persecuted, but ours is a very manageable persecution in, in comparison to some. And, and I, I wouldn't wish that persecution on others that, that are afraid to live their faith. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. And, and so we have to be so grateful that we have the chance. And when we do have the chance, we have to pray for those that don't have the chance. So as chaotic as it might be, and as, as crazy as everything feels, persistence and, and just persevering and, and striving to make it better the next night. And the kids do pick it up. They really do pick it up and, and they expect it. They, they know that this is what comes next. They know that we haven't done this yet before bed. And, and, you know, at the end of our prayers, they all get a blessing from me before they go to bed. And, you know, they know now that that happens. They actually line up there in a queue and they're waiting for it. And if I, if I step up and move away to do something, they'll say, we haven't had our blessing yet. And so I've got to come back and, and line up and, and we'll do that. So we're forming the, the behavior where we're installing this behavior in them that they can then pick it up and take it on with them in their life. Cause, cause we all know that the world is out there going to try and drag them away from these things. And at the young age, that's where we really have to, to foster this desire in them to pray. And, just in the last little while, uh, we have had, and, and Matthew, I know you were doing the, the rosary online, the daily rosary, praying for the end um, to lockdowns here in Australia, because the lockdowns are just really causing a lot of grief for so many. There's so many issues now that have come about and you start thinking, well, is this better than what we had in the first place when we, the, the, the virus was, they're telling us the virus is rampant. Well, is this any better or is it just different? Maybe it's even worse, the situation we're in. But my three boys, the three oldest are boys, and then the next four are girls. But the three oldest, they now go to bed with their little rosary card and their rosary beads, and they'll they'll lie in there and, and they'll put themselves to sleep praying their rosary. And and uh, and you know they're nearly there when they start singing the Salve Regina at the end, and they sing it in chant and they try and harmonize it. And it, it's really nice to hear. And that's something that they're doing. That we didn't say go and do this to help you get to sleep. That's something. Why don't we do this? And they they came up with this themselves. And and, you know, some nights it's, it's uh, smoother than others, but, mm. and, and some nights we'll actually, we, we're now doing that with them again. So after our family decade, they'll go and do their, their full five decades. And, and we've done that with them. And, 
But it's, it's just really encouraging that this is an initiative of their own. This isn't something that we ask them to do. And I really pray that by them now exploring these initiatives on their own, that they're actually fostering this for as they grow older as well. So yeah, it's, it's very encouraging. Fantastic. Uh, I know we are pressed for time, but I, I, I must ask a question that has popped up in the chat. Uh, and that is, what about the age old question of whether or not to force religion on children, which might then cause resentment as they uh, go into their teens? What would you say to I, that? I think forcing anything causes resentment because it's forced. Mm. I think the best way to do that, and I'm not saying let them sit back and decide for themselves by any means, but you don't have to force it. You don't have to consider that, that doing prayers with them at mealtime and praying with them a few times a day is forcing it. You're showing them the importance of it. And sometimes the kids protest and we've got a little, we've got our altar set up. We've got a crucifix in the next room. So if they're really, really mucking up, so you go and sit and pray under the crucifix by yourself and listen to what we're doing from the next room. So, you know, we're not forcing them to sit down and pray and do what you're told. Like it's, if, if, if they are really pushing back, there's a consequence. They can't join the family in that prayer in the same way. They're joining the family from the next room and listening. And so, so we're not sitting and holding them down and forcing them. We're showing them that you have to learn to choose to do this properly. If you don't, there's a consequence. Now, at the moment, the consequence is, sure, they're still doing it just from the next room where they can hear. But it's not sit and hold them down and, and, and make sure they don't make a peep. It's, it's fostering in them the desire to want to do it themselves. And I think if you get them from a very early age, it's never going to be forcing. Sometimes it's going to be harder than others because they don't have the concentration if it's in the evening and they're tired and they've had a long day and, and, and they're really just not in that place. But in those instances, I don't make them respond. I don't say, you must say this response. We will pray it. We will lead it. We will respond to it. And if they join in, they join in. If not, they're still there witnessing it. And in that way, it's not being forced at all. It's being um, modelled for them. We're demonstrating how to do it. We're demonstrating that there is a, a need for it in our lives because at the end of a crazy day, sometimes it is just really peaceful just to sit down. And even if it's 30 seconds of the rosary that we get peace, well, that's 30 seconds of peace we wouldn't have had if we hadn't sat, sat down to do that rosary. And so, yeah, I, sure, I, I don't think you can force anything on anyone. Um, Anything that, that, that is forced is going to be pushed back against um, mm. just by the nature of the fact that it was forced. So it's fostering it from a very young age so that you don't have to ever force it. And if you get times where there's pushback, I suppose you just don't stop demonstrating. You don't stop modeling it for them. I haven't gotten to the, to the rebellious teenage years yet in our family, but, but no doubt that will strike in some way, shape or form. Hopefully in fostering all of these things at a young age, it, it doesn't strike as bad as it might have, but but just acknowledging that they have free will, letting them know that there are consequences to the decisions that they make, modeling for them what we hope is a good decision in their life, and that is to, to really value prayer in our life, and including them in that as much as we possibly can. And, and while they're so young, that's the best time to instill that in them. So yeah, I, I hope that answers that question. I'm sure I could go on a lot more about different aspects of it, but just trying to answer it directly. Yeah, it's, it should never be forced because it's not going to work if it's forced. Perhaps we'll do a, uh, a longer Parousia podcast episode on this. We'll subject. have to. We'll have to. <laughs> Indeed. All right. Well, speaking of prayer, Mark, you are now going to lead us into the rosary. So Absolutely. over to you. And we're going to do the sorrowful mysteries today. Uh, and I'm going to pray along. I don't know how many of you on the, um, the Rosary Pilgrimage on Perusia on demand have seen that there is a downloadable um, scriptural rosary that you can, you can download under all the videos. If you scroll to the bottom of all the videos that are available under the resources tab, there is a book, a free book that you can download. And part of that is the scriptural rosary. So I'm going to be doing the Sorrowful Mysteries from that scriptural rosary where there's a little scriptural reflection at the beginning of each Hail Mary of every one of the, the decades that we do today. So we'll begin. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. We offer this rosary for the Pope and for his intentions, for all of our bishops and priests. We offer this rosary for peace and unity and faith and leadership in our church, for all of the souls in purgatory, for all of those who are suffering in the world through persecution, isolation and fear. We offer this rosary in thanks for all of those who have been reunited 
after such a time of separation. We offer this rosary for the intentions of all those taking part in this live rosary here and all of those who will watch this on replay later on. Love this. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. For the Pope and his intentions, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And the first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane and he began to experience sorrow and distress. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Then he said to them, My heart is nearly broken with sorrow. Remain here and stay awake with me. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. He withdrew from them and knelt down and prayed. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Still let it be as you would have it, not as I. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. When he returned to his disciples, he found them asleep. He said to Peter, So you could not stay awake with me for even an hour? Be on guard and pray that you may not undergo the test. The spirit is willing, but the nature is weak. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In his anguish, he prayed more earnestly. An angel appeared to him, coming from heaven to give him strength. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The hour is on us, when the Son of Man is to be handed over to the power of evil men. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, accompanied by a great crowd with swords and clubs. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. He immediately went over to Jesus, said to him, Peace, Rabbi, and embraced him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus answered, Friend, do what you were here for. At that moment, they stepped forward to lay hands on him and arrest him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. As soon as it was daybreak, the chief priests with the elders and scribes reached a decision. They bound Jesus, led him away and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate interrogated him. Are you the king of the Jews? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus answered, My kingdom does not belong to this world. At this Pilate said to him, So then you are a king. Jesus replied, It is you who say I am king. The, this the reason I was born, the reason why I came into this world is to testify to the truth. Anyone committed to the truth, hears my voice. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. This much only will I say, from now on the Son of Man will have his seat at the right hand of the power of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. So you are the Son of God, they asked in chorus. He answered them, It is you who say that I am. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pilate's next move was to take Jesus and have him scourged. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And yet ours were the sufferings he bore. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. He was pierced through for our faults, crushed for our sins. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. They blindfolded him, slapped him, and then taunted him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
And after he had Jesus scourged, Pilate handed him over to be crucified. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. The third sorrowful mystery is the crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The soldiers now led Jesus away into the hall known as the Praetorium. At the time they assembled the whole cohort. Our Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. They dressed him in royal purple, then wove a crown of thorns and put it on him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. They began to salute him. All hail, King of the Jews. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Continually striking Jesus on the head with a reed and spitting at him, they genuflected before him and pretended to pay him homage. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pilate said to the crowd, observe what I do. I am going to bring him out to you to make you realize that I find no case against him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. When Jesus came out wearing the crown of thorns and the purple cloak, Pilate said to them, look at the man. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As soon as the chief priests and the temple guards saw him, they shouted, crucify him, crucify him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Why, what crime has he committed? asked Pilate. They only shouted the louder, crucify him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pilate said to the Jews, look at your king. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the end, Pilate handed Jesus over to be crucified. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, give us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. 
The fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. When they had finished making a fool of him, they stripped Jesus of the cloak, dressed him in his own clothes and led him off to crucifixion. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. On their way out, they met a Cyrenian named Simon. This man they pressed into service to carry the cross. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Great crowd of people followed him, including women who beat their breasts and lamented over him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep for yourselves and for your children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Two others who were criminals were led along with him to be crucified. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Upon arriving at the site called Golgotha, a name which means skull place, they gave him a drink of wine flavoured with gall, which he tasted but refused to drink. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. When they crucified him, they divided his clothes among them by casting lots. Then they sat down there and kept watch over him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Whoever wishes to be my follower must deny his very self. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. He must take up his cross every day and follow in my steps. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Whoever would save his life will lose it. Whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Jesus said, Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. One of the criminals said, Jesus, remember me when you enter upon your reign. And Jesus replied, I assure you, this day you will be with me in paradise. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Seeing his mother there with the disciple whom he loved, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, there is your son. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In turn, he said to the disciple, there is your mother. From that hour onward, the disciple took her into his care. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud tone, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus, realizing that everything was now finished, said to fulfill the scriptures, I am thirsty. There was a jar there full of common wine. They stuck a sponge soaked in this wine on a stick and raised it to his lips. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. When Jesus took the wine, he said, Now it is finished. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus uttered a loud cry and said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. After he said this, he expired. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Darkness came over the whole land until mid-afternoon with an eclipse of the sun. The curtain in the sanctuary was torn in two. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. They took Jesus' body and, in accordance with Jewish burial custom, bound it up in wrappings of cloth with perfumed oils. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God 
rest in peace. Amen. Saint Joseph, terror of demons, pray, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Mark, for uh, for doing that with us and for giving us a taste of uh, the scriptural rosary. Uh, that was indeed uh, wonderful and very different. And as Mark pointed out, that that is available as a free download, so you can pray that with your own rosaries as well. And uh, any um, minor little hiccups that we had during that with uh, video freezing and uh, the, the buffers having to catch up and Mark suddenly praying very fast, <laughs> are just more reasons to donate to Perusia so that we can bring you better quality content. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again, Mark, for joining us and for praying with us this morning. Thanks so much, Matthew. God bless. <laughs> All right, I'm hoping that you actually have a couple of minutes to hang around for our live participants. I'm sure they'd uh, love to ask you a, a couple of questions. So is Absolutely. that all right? Absolutely. Let's hope the video holds up. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> all right. And to all those uh, joining us by watching the recording, uh, thank you very much for, uh, for, for uh, watching the entire thing. And that is enough from me today. So farewell and God bless.